Now, see, the last time I tried to do this, I had the bright idea to have some music going in the background, but Facebook immediately claimed copyright infringement and took my video down. So that means there's going to be no music in the background this time. It's just going to be me filling the silence with my incessant babbling, pretty much like what I do in my day job. However, if you would like to play some music at home in order to replicate the experience, the playlist I had last time was Brazil, the version of the song that was actually used in the movie Brazil, uh, followed by Groovin' by The Young Rascals, followed by Sunny Days by Lighthouse. I had a perfectly timed that I finished the bottle by the time that playlist ended. Not that I'd been rehearsing or anything like that. Ah, uh, yeah. That is good stuff. This has been a really good summer with the return of Crystal Pepsi. I was going nuts for this stuff. You know, this is absolutely true. I've been telling this tale all summer long. My very first website that I launched way back in 1998 was a Crystal Pepsi fan site. So, yeah, looks like that fan site finally paid off. Mmm. That is good stuff. And you know, the day it did come out, I went on my radio show and I called all the grocery stores in the Westlock Barhead area looking for places that sold it. I only ever found it, though, at Gottfried's, your independent grocer here in Westlock. And I didn't even get it the day it came out. It was the bestest birthday present to myself. For you see... Excuse me, making me burp. For you see, it was officially supposed to come out on a Monday, and my birthday was a Saturday before that Monday. So when I was out grocery shopping, I found it, and I bought it, like, early before it was on the shelves, and I just started enjoying it and drinking it right there on my birthday. Best birthday present ever. Yeah, my birthday was a real 1990s flashback because I had the Crystal Pepsi, then I went to see Independence Day Resurgence. I think I remarked I was a little bit disappointed in Independence Day Resurgence, mainly because, well, I was kind of expecting it to be this year's Jurassic World, right? Just one great big 1990s nostalgia fest that gave you the warm and fuzzies for the halcyon days of 1993. But no, it was nothing like that, it was just kind of like a boring rehash. I remember when Crystal Pepsi first returned. I was raving about it. Store clerks were asking me, Mark, what's the big deal about Crystal Pepsi? It tastes just like Pepsi, but it's clear. This is brilliant! I have no idea why they took this off the store shelves way back in 1994. Obviously it wasn't selling, but there it was. Such a lovely reminder of my shy, awkward high school days. Nah. But they're only bringing it back for the summer, right? So this means it is winding down now. If you're not finding it on store shelves anymore, odds are you're not going to find any more for who knows how long until Pepsi decides to bring it back. I mean, I would be perfectly fine if they decided to make this the McRib of soft drinks, only bring it back like once every five years or so. I would be very okay with that Pepsi if someone from Pepsi is watching this. Time for a refill. Speaking of the McRib, check out my sweet McRib poster. I blogged the story about that, but for those of you who don't read my blog, perhaps I should share it with you now, mainly because, you know, I'm just looking for time to fill. So the last time McDonald's brought back the McRib, we were lucky enough to get all kinds of McRib swag down at the radio station, including 
this poster. So I was wondering, if no one's going to clean that poster, I'm going to take it home, frame it, and hang it in my kitchen. So for the longest time, it just kind of sat there in the corner of our control room, gathering dust. No one really knew what to do with it. And then back in the spring, someone cleaned out the control room. I come in to do my show, and I find it just sitting there in the garbage can. So I decide, oh, if that's what we decide to do with it, I will take it home. So I took it home, and now I have framed it, and it is there on my wall. Isn't that awesome? Hmm. Facebook is telling me my connection is weak. I don't know why it's doing that. I blame the fact that I'm still running an iPhone 4S. This is one of those things I've been talking about for a while now. It's really time for me to upgrade my cell phone. The contract expired about a year ago. I've been pricing it out, looking for something, and I'm just, I don't know, man. I like my iPhone. I'd like to stick with it, but they are pretty expensive. So the thing is, do I go for the shiny new 7, or do I get the newly marked down 6S? I don't know. I'm still crunching the numbers, looking for something that's going to work. I'm kind of out of things to say right now, so if you don't mind, I'm just going to enjoy the silence for a little bit and enjoy my Crystal Pepsi. Last little bit. Make sure I get the product shot in there. Good stuff, good stuff. Reflecting on the origins of Crystal Pepsi, as has been documented many times, back in the early 90s when this came along, for some reason making everything clear was kind of a fad. You could get clear cola, clear soap, clear mouthwash. And so, yeah, clear cola just seemed to be the thing to do. It came out during my first year in high school. And during that first year of high school, I would always go down to the Students' Union Run concession and always treat myself to a Crystal Pepsi. Because, hey, high school's tough, especially when you're just starting out, so... It was a comfort. This is comfort in 90s nostalgia. About half a glass left. The Crystal Pepsi is almost done, just like the summer. Technically it is the fall now, the leaves are changing, and the Crystal Pepsi is going off store shelves, and I'm going to miss it once again. <laughs> Pardon me. This is why I try to avoid the soft drinks when I'm live on the air, because it makes me do that. You have no idea how hard it is sometimes to hold in a burp while you're on the air. Almost done. Now you probably saw in the heading, this is my second last Crystal Pepsi. I have one left. That one's going to remain in my fridge forever. Pristine and untouched as a reminder of the awesomeness of Crystal Pepsi. I'll probably drink it in like 20 years or so, because that's one of the main reasons why Pepsi brought back Crystal Pepsi. There are all these viral videos going around, uh, people buying 20-year-old Crystal Pepsi on eBay and drinking it, and of course getting horribly sick because it had gone bad. And Pepsi was like, okay, we got the hint, we'll bring it back.
And there we go. My drink is done. My second last Crystal Pepsi has been enjoyed. Should I go for the Thor ending? I'll go for the Thor ending. I like this drink! Another! Okay, there we go. I'm done. And that's just me goofing around on this lazy Sunday afternoon.